LL be spitting some knowledge. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this will probably be a short video. Um, it's just about uh, that, uh, I think Mike Tyson, he has that show, the Hot Boxing, Hot Boxing with Mike. So LL was previously on the show. So um, LL was saying some 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 good stuff as far as, um, you know, basically what it takes to be a man and what, you know, a lot of people are, you know, they're kind of lacking or they kind of, not, not really that they're lacking, it's just that um, men are starting to get a little bit more weak nowadays. It seems like uh, some people are against men being men. Like there's like a, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just men are just turning into women sometimes. So anyway, um, so let's just hear a couple of things that um, LL Cool J was saying on the show, um, you know, a lot of people were agreeing. Some people were disagreeing. So let's check out some of the stuff he was saying. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We used to do those like fucking they work. crazy. They Hell work. yeah, they work. They work. They, they get work. the core solid. Absolutely. You have to have a strong core. Yeah. You got to have a strong core. Yeah, because make sure y'all get in the gym, man. you to be the, the best you you could be, you want to maximize your potential, right? Yeah. And you, you obviously, you know about it. You're a fit guy. And obviously, Mike, I mean, yeah. It yeah. goes without saying. So you want to maximize your potential. You got to be strong. You got to be yeah. the best you you could possibly be. It's yeah. not about like trying to be 15 or 22 forever. Mm -hmm. It's about being the best thing, that best man that you could be your entire life. You so know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. I, I like what he was saying right there. Like, because you got a lot of older guys still trying to be young or a lot of um, younger guys that want to hurry up and get old, you know. But um, in that moment of time, just be the best man that you can be. You know, if you're young, if you're like 16 years old and you're, you know, you're trying to uh, get bigger in the gym, just know it's going to take time. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't start getting on, you know, different types of uh, PEDs because um, you don't need that. You don't really need that at that time. If you decide you want to get on PEDs or something when you're older, you know, you can make that decision when you're older. Mm -hmm. But as far as uh, right now, being 16, 18 years old, like, just be the best man that you can be at that point. You know, try to get as big as you can get or as strong as you can naturally. See what your natural potential is first before you start just doing doing other stuff. And if you're older, if you're an older guy, you know, you don't got to, you know, same thing. Just be the best man that you can be at that time. You know, it's time to, um, you, you got to grow up. You can't be in the club all the time, you know. If you're always in the streets and you 40 years old, always in the streets, you know. You might want to try to change some of your habits. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like you said, just be the best man you can be at that point in time of your life. But And being comfortable with that, too. Yeah, Embracing right. that. Not feeling like, you know, not feeling slighted. Not feeling like, oh, I'm older. But feeling being the best you you could be. You know what I'm saying? That's what I respect. When a, when a man says, yo, I'm going to be the best me that I can I possibly be. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Maximize your potential. Your potential. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be your height. Yeah. I don't need to be. Because yeah. even though you're taller than me, I don't feel short. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to maximize yeah. my potential. Yeah. Right. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And be the best me I can be. Absolutely. You feel You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's what you want to do. You know what I mean? feel that, man. Yeah. Yeah, LL made some good points there. He made a good point there about, you know, just being the best man you can be uh, at that certain time in your life. You know, I always go back to like the, I remember when I was younger, being like 16 or um, I think I started lifting like like maybe 19, maybe. That's why I started lifting like seriously. Um, there wasn't really a need to get like uh, big really fast. I don't think we didn't have that much access to like social media back then. You know what I'm saying? So all you in, in order to see like big bodybuilders and stuff, you had to look at magazines. And um, we really weren't on the Internet like that too much we was pretty much either playing ball we was outside all the time you know so there wasn't really that need to get big real fast or get fit real fast but nowadays it's kind of like i see you know young young cats in the gym like you know 18 years old and these dudes are like you know ripped veiny you know what i'm saying it's just like <laughs> how are you how are you like that already 
You know, there's like you're there's no. It's just hard to believe that you were able to get that ripped or that lean or that size without doing something, you know, because I you know, what, I don't I'm not saying that you can't, you know, do stuff like that. You can't be on PEDs or, you know, growth hormone or anything like that. You can do that. I just think that you should wait till you meet your natural potential first and then try to, you know, what I'm saying if you reach that age where you want to be bigger or leaner or whatever. Then, then you could decide. I think you're, when you're that age, you're more, you're like when you're up in age, when you're older, you're more competent to to make that decision. When you're like 16, it's just like, I don't think that you should really be doing stuff like that. But it's your decision at the end of the day. You know, um, if you want to get into that type of lifestyle, that you can. It's no big deal. I mean, it is a big deal because I mean, if you look at um, bodybuilders right now. A lot of these bodybuilders are dying, you know, young, young, like 40. You know what I'm saying? That's a young age to be dying at. You know what I'm saying? So think about that stuff before you start. Even Boston Lloyd. Boston Lloyd just passed away not too long ago. I think he was still in his 20s, I believe, or or almost 30. So that's something you got to think about when you start trying to grow fast or trying to, you know, be too much too quick. Just take your time with this stuff, man. Take your time. Be the best man you can be at that moment. The most hated person in this planet because a traitor, he looks like you. He dresses like you. He eats the same food you do. He says the same thing to his mother that you say to your mother. But it, and even worse, he yeah. convinced you that he was with you. No, exactly. He, he does everything you do. Yeah. He makes yeah. you, you know, you're comfortable. Everything yeah. you do, you breathe, he does. Yeah. So and how that, can he you be know, my enemy? And it's funny you say that because, see, that's the other part of it about, about America that we have to remember that, that, you know, especially, you know, as black people, and it's tough because of everything that goes on, but we got to remember that if somebody invaded these shores, mm -hmm. we still got to be there for this country. Oh, absolutely. Regardless of, regardless of some of the, the dirty laundry that we have internally with some of the race stuff, at the end of the day, this is our country. You know, like, you know, you got to love your country. Like, I'm not saying that it's all to. good. I'm not trying to whitewash it. I'm not trying to say that, you know, I know, you know, I, I know I no. get all that. I really do. I get that there's some bad shit that happens. But what I'm saying is if boots hit the ground from another place, we have to be willing to defend it. We're not just going to lay back and say, OK, y'all got it. At least I would. No, we yeah. can't. I would. Can't. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people in this country, they're kind of like they look down on this country like it's like really bad here like there are way worse countries than the united states trust me we're probably one of the best countries out uh this is one of those places where you can you could be poor you could be straight poor and and poverty and all of that and then on the flip side you can be as rich as you want to be you can have millions this is one of the one of the only countries where you can do that you know because of capitalism you know uh, a lot of the countries like Venezuela and Cuba, you know, they believe in, um, you know, communist. Those are communist countries, you know. So China. So you're, you're not you're only going to make so much money. You can only be so much. You know, you really can't really. You can have an imagination, but it's not going to go that far, you know, so only the government can have those things. But uh, so you got to love your country at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I the only think that, reason that we we wanted to go to the war because we wanted to convince the world we weren't cowards. Not only convince people. Yeah. No, that right. was it. Yeah. They said yeah, we yeah. were cowards. We were unfit for war. Yeah, but but it's not. We fought in every war in this country. Well, look, look. My look. family fought in every war in this country. So did mine. My grandfather was in the army and my father was yeah. in the navy. But you know what is even deeper than that, Mike? Look, everybody in the world was slaves at some point. Yeah, I know There's that. no ethnicity Straight in up. the world that wasn't slaves. We just, you know, it, it's just when you go back thousands and thousands of years, history gets erased. And, you know, I always look at I always look at race relations like, like franchises and sports, right? I have this weird theory, right? Um, you know, the Yankees are up. They've been up for a long time, but there was a time when they weren't. Or they, they, so there, there are different races. Like there's an ebb and flow swinging of society, of the swinging of the pendulum. So if you go back to when the Egyptians, or you go back to even before the, the Egyptians, the, the Egyptians. Nubians, and you go back before that, that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years to the to some of the king letters Cave, and cavemen. Yo, and there was always an ebb and flow of people. So 
we can't get you can't wake up in the morning and feel like you're a loser. Mm -hmm. You know, and you don't because everybody, everybody in this world was a slave. Every ethnicity was a slave at some point. Mm -hmm. Believe me, they were either slaves, they were prisoners of war, they were indentured servants, they were absolutely dominated at some point. You go to Britain, you look at Britain, but look what the Romans well, if you if you go back into history with the Egyptians, like he like he was saying, which I knew he was going to allude to that, um, uh, a lot of people believe the Egyptians, especially that humans were created. The original reason were humans were created was to be slaves. We were slaves to the gods. So um, he made a good point there, um, as far as uh, everyone at some point were slaves. Um, everyone. Did the brick? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Like you go. I mean, you could go any. I could point you see to the any tunnels country. Tunnels in Britain. They got tunnels, biggest cities and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Moscow I could point too. to any country. The Romans. Any the any Romans. ethnicity. So you can't get caught up in that. You got to love yourself. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad he made that point. Um, I didn't. I kind of felt like he was going to allude to that, but I wasn't. I wasn't sure because a lot of people don't really know uh, about that stuff. I mean, you, you kind of got to do your own research. That's that's one of the problems too. Is a lot of people don't want to. They don't want to do their own research. Uh, they just want to listen to what everybody else says, and and that's it. But you're you're allowed to think for yourself. I don't know if you guys know that you're allowed to think for yourself. You're allowed to vote for whoever you want to vote for. Um, you can believe in whatever religion that you want to believe in. Uh, luckily, we live in one of those countries where we can do that. So, um, yeah, that was pretty straight. For me to take care of them, and yeah, she saw him at the weak moments, and sometimes when women see you weak. Whoa, that's not healthy. It's definitely not. I don't allow, my, it's not. Yeah, I don't allow that to not. happen. It's definitely not. You know, my wife gets angry, but I don't let her see me that in a yeah. that dad. We've been low yeah. before. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah you, don't wanna, you don't want to. You don't want to do too much Frank of that. Weak. Too much of that boohoo and shit. You know, she saw, don't do too much of that. She saw him weak. She saw him yeah. weak, and so that's she. Yeah, I mean, Tyson made a good point there. I mean, no woman really wants to see you at your weak point. They want you to man up. There's that's why that whole thing came about. Hey, just man up and do this. Man up and do that. Cause you really got to, you know what I'm saying? If you're not leading the family, you know, that's why she's with you. You know, most of the time, that's why she's with you because you're a leader. You're supposed to be a leader anyway. But, um, if you look weak at, at bad times, then she's not going to respect you. And that's what you, you want your woman to respect you. Right. So try not to make yourself look weak as a man. You know, even if it's a bad time, you just got to handle, you have to figure it out. Oh, that was That's weird. a problem. And and then in general, <laughs> look, we all have vulnerable moments, but you should in general be strong. Yes, too. You, you know what I'm saying? To, like man. you should be strong. Yeah. Personally. No, the woman, no, the woman don't want to have to. She don't want to be the head of the fucking family. When Definitely it comes not. To no, she don't. Definitely not. They're so used Definitely to not. that. You and know? you, you know, I think a man, I think a man needs to be on his purpose first too. Exactly. And you got to be on your mission. Your mission got to be first, and your purpose got to be first. You know what I'm saying? And you can't put anything in front of your mission and your purpose and your dreams. And you can't, you know, what you don't want to do is put yourself in a position where you're, you're tiptoeing and, and crawling behind a, a, a woman who you love as opposed to putting your mission and your purpose first. Because if you put your mission and your purpose first, you'll be able to take care of your family. You'll be able to take. That's why, I like on a plane, they say, put your oxygen mask on first, first. then and take, take care, care of the person kid. next to you. Don't take care so, of you can't yeah, take, take care of your mission and your purpose first. You know what I'm saying? Take care of that first. Then we'll deal with. You know, and then by doing that, you'll be able to take care of the woman you love and your family. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But be a man. Right. Be a man first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't, you know, you don't have to be a boohoo, cry baby, fucking, you know. It's interesting be, be a man. you guys having this kind of Yeah, in my opinion, that might have been one of the most important things that he said in this uh, in this interview. Because um, I, I believe that wholeheartedly that a man should always be on his purpose. His purpose should be first. You know, um, there's God purpose and everything else comes after that you know what i'm saying so keep your purpose first and um yeah everything will come will follow after that that's all about being a man and that's like i said and that's just my opinion you know everybody may have different thoughts they a lot of people think that their woman comes first they surround themselves about around what their woman thinks you know happy wife happy life you know that to some degree i agree with that but if you're not if you don't have a purpose in life or you're not looking for your purpose in life, then you're just you're just living. You're like, what are you doing? You know, figure out what you want to do. Figure out what you want to be. Figure out what you want to give to the world. 
you know um in my my in my opinion growing up i felt like you know i wanted to you know do something for my community you know what i'm saying i wanted to you know do something work somewhere where i was doing something you know and as i got older i was like you know what i want to serve my country in some way you know so i worked you know uh, a federal job you know what i mean and um now it's like how can i serve the world when you figure out how you can serve the world and um do something do something that's that you know that that serves people then you could become rich now i'm not rich yet but it, i believe it's coming at some point so at the end of the day find what your purpose is and everything will come after that so anyway that's the end of this video um i like what ll said appreciate mike having him on the show i think this was like two years ago it's an old show but um i felt like ll made some good points so yeah like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think um it's coming out soon y'all Check it out. It's going to be good, man. It's pre-workout. Um, I'll put it on my Instagram. I'll let you know when it comes out. So you guys got to follow my Instagram. Keep your nutrition. Keep your health right. Check me out on Instagram. Uh, right here. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think. I'll let you know when the uh, pre-workout comes out. There's going to be other things that I come out with as well. But this is the beginning. So... All right, y'all. I'll catch you on the next video.